Right, Metrolink. With regards to the Metrolink uh, 60 gigahertz range from IgniteNet, uh, there are a few things to note uh, and to mention. Uh, first of all, uh, there are point-to-point -point and point-to-multipoint -point ranges uh, where the point-to-point -point units can be used as CPEs to the point-to-multipoint -point base stations. Um, the units come in various form factors as well uh, to support various distances and various applications. Your typical applications are short-range uh, backhaul as well as last mile service delivery in point-to-multipoint. Um, all of the radios are equipped with a dedicated 5.8 GHz 802.11 AC Wave 2 radio uh, for failover purposes, should interference occur on, uh, on the main radio. Some of the units in the range are so-called tri-band units, and they offer a 2.4 GHz radio in addition to the 60 and 5.8 uh, for direct access that can be used, for example, for uh, hotspot coverage or management. The Metrolink range is uh, based on TDD, or Time Division Duplex technology. That means that on one frequency, time slots are allocated for sending and receiving traffic, respectively. The IgniteNet long-range precision bracket is used to make alignment on longer links easier. It is advised to always purchase this bra bracket um, with any and all point-to-point -point and CPE radios. Then um, the alignment scope is advised to be used for initial alignment. Uh, one unit can be purchased and reused when deploying each link. Then 24 or 48 volt gigabit PUE injectors are always included with each Metrolink device.